now I get to demonstrate to you using the Lurch Grossman um, Optimum or ultimate, ultimate Pit creation um, in Design Excel. Again, I need to open up Excel to access it. I go into Spatial Excel, show the spatial pane. Alright, now I've already set up a layer file which was used in our open pit mine design scenario. I just need to access the block model for that layer. The layer is loaded. Uh, I've turned off the um, other layers which you don't need to look at at the moment. We're only interested in the block model, so I'm going to zoom to it. And the theme I've set for the block model is to display the cells based on whether they're going to be mined or not. So 0 um, is not mined and 1 is mined and so as you can see from this particular block model if I view it from the side nothing is going to be mined at the moment. To now apply the Lurch Grossman algorithm to this particular block model to find out the ultimate set of blocks to mine for the best value I'm going to apply the Lurch Grossman algorithm to do that I'll go mine design optimize pit it brings me up the optimize pit dialog okay what I need to do is just to choose the actual block model not the containing layer Let me do that optimize pit there we go so now it finds the correct fields what this what is required here is basically the, the, the parameters for the block model so it knows for the blocks telling me the size of the blocks and so on what's important is I need a value field which will specify the formula to say what is the return on mining each block now to show you how that's been set up I'm going to go out of here and I'm going to go onto the block model data I'm going to view its data and what I've created here I've created a column called net value which we're going to use as our net value when doing the Lurch Grossman algorithm now net value turns out to be a calculated column and I will show you what its formula looks like basically I made it simple for the sake of this exercise it's basically these three factors multiplied together give you the volume of a particular block and what I've said is I've said that it takes 10 units cost to actually process and mine that particular block I'm assuming my formula is irrespective of grade so the negative there says it costs me 10 units per cubic meter to actually process that and then I'm saying that the value that I can sell the gold for in that block will be the gold grade times the density column times the volume times 100 units so this gives me an actual return on investment on mining that particular block alright so what we can do we can look here at the actual column and you can see for these waste blocks here it costs you 10,000 units to actually mine them on with no value as we scroll down here you'll see some do some some have still negative values but much less because they have some content and we can actually look here and see what is the range of values well there are some with value okay you can see over there but not all of them so that's a typical scenario in which we typical scenario of the data we can apply using the Lurch Grossman algorithm all right so let's go back and apply our algorithm mine design optimize pit so what another input to the Lurch Grossman algorithm is what is the maximum allowed slope um, on a bench on the on the faces of a bench the idea being here is that you don't mine too deeply mine too steeply for safety reasons etc so I can set the slope per region and a region can be come from a field in the um, file or I can give it a default slope and in our case we're giving it a default slope but we're saying that 60 degrees is our maximum slope allowed so I've set the slope there and I'm going to now choose my value column which is the one we were looking at it was the net value column and there I choose it having done that I can just tell it to run the algorithm 
Now, because I have colored this particular layer, um, flagged it as uh, whether it's going to be mined or not, and I'm colored it by that, um, when the algorithm fin finishes, we should see what the actual, what it looks like. It'll be colored according to what will be mined. So let me get the algorithm to calculate. Calculate optimum pit, and there it's going. First thing it's doing is calculating the dependencies between the blocks, which we can view later, as I'm going to show you. So all the dependencies have been calculated. It does depend upon the um, the angle. Okay, it's finished the calculation. So now I can close this, and automatically you can see here that already those are the blocks we're going to be mining, the red ones we aren't. To get a clearer idea, I'm going to turn off the ones we're not going to be mining, and there you go, there's our actual optimum shell from the side. You can view it from various sides, let's view it from that area there, you can look at it from that side, you can look at it that side, there you can get the idea. As you can see, it's it's keeping to that particular um, slope. What we can do now is look at the dependencies between these blocks, and here is a data set created of those dependencies, which is one of the outputs we need for further scheduling ideas. I'm going to view the data, and here we go. Okay, it's the wrong one. We view the data for the block, the data source data, there we go. So each block, it's told me the block and what its predecessor is, and here is the actual whole set. What I can do is I can select all these. I can put them into Excel if I want to use them for anything in Excel. There we go. There, that illustrates to you the Lurch Grossman algorithm running in Design Excel and how you can extract the um, dependencies of the blocks if needed for other testing or processing.